here's another uh, derivation of a formula. Uh, you just had a chance to visually see what projection was all about and then I ended that little segment with a cliffhanger with a formula. Now this formula doesn't look exactly like the one I originally posted. Um, the letters U and V are reversed, but you'd read this as the projection of V onto U is equal to the following. So this is some form of a scalar or a numerical value and then it's in the direction of U. Now it's possible to rewrite this and that's what our goal is because to understand why the formula is this it's a really simple trick with a right triangle and pieces of information that we've gathered some old some recent. So I can rewrite this formula as the dot product of the two vectors over the magnitude of u and then I pulled out one of these factors of the magnitude and I wrote it here. Now this is called a unit vector so I'll visually display that in just a moment. Our goal is to prove that that picture that I showed in the last segment will be generated by this formula. So let's move along here. So we have this right triangle and this is vector v and this is vector u down here and the goal is to calculate the projection of v onto u. So that would be this vector right here. So here's what we're going to do. What we really need to figure out is we have this vector u. We need to make it uh, looks like shorter, maybe about half as long as it, as it was originally. We need to figure out what is a way to figure out the length of this vector here. So the trick we'll do is we'll actually make the magnitude of vector u equal to 1. We call that the unit vector. So the unit vector is the vector divided by its own magnitude and so I'm going to display that right here. Ta-da! And then if I can figure out what to multiply by, that, let's just suppose it's I have to multiply by pi. Well then this thing here is going to come out to equal pi. If I have to multiply by 2 then this thing here is going to multiply be 2. So how do I take the unit vector and make it exactly this long? So let's investigate. So first off we have the angle between the two vectors and we've just been playing with this cosine of theta formula which involves the dot product. So that would be the cosine of that angle right there. But you know my trigonometry teacher says you know if you got a right triangle this right here is the adjacent leg of the triangle and that's the hypotenuse of the right triangle and the cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Wait a second this is my projection vector. That side right there is the magnitude of my projection. Wait, where does this V come from? Slow down. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Aha! Right triangle trigonometry. Well that means that this here is equal to this here. So let me write that out. Now if I multiply both sides by the magnitude of V I'll find out that the length of this projection is equal to dot product divided by just u because the v's will quote unquote cancel. They'll equal to 1 and reduce when I multiply both sides. So this calculation here is actually the length of that vector. 
and if I multiply the length times the unit vector, I'll actually have the vector. So remember, this here is a scalar. Scalars are numbers. This here is a vector, length 1. Number times that vector will give me this vector. Ta-da!